and welcome back my friends welcome back to ever so amazing age of wonders one when i am when when i am playing age of wonders one <laughs> last time stuff happened that we defeated one of the orcish hordes that was going towards our main stuff here towards brook and fosberg but we defeated them on the bridge of Casa Doom. We also gained a freaking bird finally, with which we can actually steal, explore, pillage and burn the children, of course. And of course we're gonna continue on and see how this is actually gonna, f gonna go for us. Because I'm thinking of attacking Kokrach. Because Kokrach needs killing, honestly. I would like to annihilate that army, which is a dragon. The tier 5 unit. So again, why am I calling it tier 5? Heroes of Might and Magic, that's why I'm calling it tier 5. I know why I'm calling this your tier 5 unit, Heroes of Might and Magic. It doesn't really matter, does it? No, no, no. Here, level 4, which is the greatest unit of known origin, as you can see, it's the Red Dragon. Which is amazing, because as soon as we get this thing, we're gonna get the Red the Dragon. Not really, we're gonna be getting something of ours, because, again, I don't wanna lead an army of evil when we are an army of good. Of course. Uh, so what we can what can we really 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 do here? Well, nothing except start again moving most of our forces Towards certain locations like we also have a massive force on the ground uh, Which can explore a little bit and give us an insight as to what the fudge is happening absolutely nothing We have nothing on the ground and I mean absolutely mother humping nothing which is fine I am not pressuring anyone to tell me that it's an amazing thing it is but it's fine, as long as the enemy doesn't move in and rape, pillage and burn everything we have here. Which is gonna move right here, because that's gonna be three armies against one army that dares move in on any of these armies. It's gonna be amazing. Actually, there's gonna be two armies if and they attack this army. It's only gonna be this army is an addition. Amazing stuff, just amazing. Really sick shit, but amazing stuff nonetheless. Uh, so, again, not moving until we have Dorboff in our control, which is in the next turn. Which is amazing, of course, and then we're gonna be attacking this part. It's gonna be kind of, I mean, really, it's gonna be freaking interesting just cause of the fact that we are actually winning, finally. I mean, okay, we have the frosting, uh, frosting's left, as you can see here on the bottom of here, page, page, game, thingy, UI, where the clock is. You have the actual sides, and of course, there we are in the middle, like a big middle finger to the enemy. And of course, one of these are neutral, and one of these are, of course, blue people. Which I actually cannot see who is blue there. Anyway, the point is, we are amazing. We are winning, we are moving in, and we are gonna be winning even more. In the next scenario, probably. Not really. Uh, so, my thing is, I'm gonna attack this before they start making hundreds of these bastards. So, attack. Automatic fight. Good stuff, good stuff. I like how we are throwing them apples and oranges at the enemy armada and them defeating us completely. That's fine, here comes the secondary ship. Fight. Let's see this destruction. Annihilation. Why is this thing stronger than us? Just asking. Oh my god, like I was thinking I'm gonna lose that. I'm gonna keep there. I'm gonna keep my uh, unit there just for in case. I'm just gonna keep it in case the enemy start building and I don't think they'll have have ability to build on a place where they're actually dropping them ships. Also, I think one of our ships, yeah, we already have a new one, so... Who's your daddy and what does he do? You do not know, but you know because we're moving one of them up there. So again, another ship, dragon ship. Again, you can use it as a transport. We have another dragon ship, who's your daddy and what does he do? You know now everything. You know everything. Amazing stuff. And I'm kind of very, very glad that we have annihilated the red player because... Uh, considering the problem that could have uh, arisen here specifically, if the red player wasn't here, that is the w red wizard, you know, we would be surrounded by the red player from each side, <coughs> because they already had a huge chunk of units. But I'm thankful that we have defeated him, that they actually moved inside this specific city and we killed him off. Only one left. The moment we kill him, it's gonna be amazing. But the thing of what I want is one of the level 4 creatures. Because if we can bring a dragon into the next scenario, who's your daddy and what does he do? You not know this. It's gonna be amazing. This is gonna be amazing. Just beautiful, sexy like a beast. We can't do anything anymore with uh, the evil, evil thing here. Run! 
Uh, actually, I'm gonna just keep getting mines. I don't think the AI will mind if I take the mines. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. We'll see how that's gonna go. As you can see, specifically, they are still holding inside their holes, inside their cities. So I'm guessing that they don't really care that much. I mean, they probably care, but they don't care that much. Uh, let's see the the evil bastards. Okay, this is what's happening. The independent is attacking the Frostling stuff. Frostling don't love that. So what's left of the evil orcish forces around the map? They're gonna be totally annihilated by the Frostlings. And the Frostlings are actually coming in force, as you can see here. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. They have a freaking shamans. They have a Frostling swordsman. They have a Frostling archers and dire penguins, which are the craziest bunch of them all. Dire penguins swarm over their prey and devour them to the bone. I did not know this. A single penguin is not a great threat to a skilled warrior, but a pack of them can make even the bravest warriors blood run cold with fear. Bred to be more ferocious than your average giant penguin, of course, dire penguins battle for their frosting friends. The awkward on land, they are quick swimmers and can give Frosting forces a great tactical advantage. Oh, they're just level 1? I was thinking they're something level 3 or some crap. I mean, they're the dire penguins, you would think hell will break open. Anyway, that's fine also because, again, uh, we can deal with dire them again. What they have at the moment here is really nothing to worry about. They don't have a huge chunk of these, which are Frosting Wolf Riders. You can see 6, 4 damage, 6 attack, 3 defense, and 3 resistance. Fine. Again, I, I believe that the Frosting didn't expect uh, probably to enter the war. And they just had the most basic forces like our allies over here. So there you go. As soon as we start joining up the forces, it is going to take a while though. As soon as we start joining forces here, well that is with this region here it's gonna be amazing when I have a huge chunk of force just to push the frost things back as soon as possible but I would like to take this I would like to take this do I have enough of a force to take this and then fall back if need be I do not think so I do not think I'm gonna leave uh, for one more turn just to make sure that I'm building a lot of stuff we're building some elf swordsman elf swordsman elf archer elf ranger Installing that is it's gonna take three turns for a ranger, but we get a bunch of level three units finally a Bunch of them not just one bunch of those uh, From also what we noticing is that the enemy is not utilizing Nordic lights at the moment to cross any parts any rivers Because of the evil thing that they can do to us if they do and they won't because they're douchebags like that of course uh, And that's it. I think I moved everything that is important for this turn, I believe. I have taken all the mines, I've done everything I could. I have not taken the life node, as there is no point to it. Again, we won't be getting anything out of the life node. Uh, is that it? Yes, yes, yes. Let's end this and see how this is gonna develop, because I'm afraid it's gonna be horror! And yes, they're going for us on that one part. I could uh, run away with the pony riders, but they're going for the farms. That means, e oh shit. That means shit's gonna happen. Shit's hitting the wall right there. And you see they have the dragon again. They have a fucking dragon also. Of course they have. Everybody has dragons. An Ice Drake, level 4. The Ice Drake is one of the smaller members of the great race of dragons. They make their homes in the icy mountainous mountain tops of the coldest regions of the land. As a result, they have learned to coexist with the Frostlings, and will fight for them when it serves their interests. Ice Drakes are not particularly powerful in combat, but their breath weapon can be devastating. The Ice Drake exhales, exhales a great blast of jagged ice and some zero breath, freezing solid anything unfortunate enough to be caught in its path. Yeah, like, look at that. I mean, 7 attack, 4 damage, 5 defense. And, like, these guys are evil. How does everybody has dragons? Where are my dragons? I ask. And get no answer. But where are my dragons, people? Where are my dragons? I think I'm going to have to capture this as soon as possible, honestly. And we will be able to capture it this turn. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. But I never touched the sky. So there you go. Yeah, we'll be attacking them dragons. 
Uh, yeah. Now what to do with the eagle? Let's see the four three two three. <laughs> the great eagles. Looks like a pigeon, by the way, just saying. The great eagles are an ancient race, soaring above the world aloof of mortal struggles. They are intelligent and good, and align themselves with the races that best can use their talents and preserve what they judge to be the best in the world. For many centuries, they aided halflings and considered them to be the best friends. They will also come to an aid of wizards, but chosen to serve only those who adhere to the good principles. I'm gonna disband you because of that. Bullcrap. Um, well, we could go and attack them, or we can just soar through the skies and capture the mines. <laughs> I'm so glad I have a giant eagle. I'm just saying it. I'm so glad I have a fucking giant eagle, finally. I'm not gonna go yet unless I have two armies to back me up against this. And considering that this entire army is compromised mostly of the archers, it's a no-go. And we are building dwarf archers, really? Really? Change that, baby. Change that. I'm gonna get for a beautiful dwarf berserkers and some axemen. Let's go more berserkers to try them out more because honestly I'm not that impressed by the berserkers themselves. The, the small holes will not fill anything. We have giants by the way guys. I forgot that we have giants. We're gonna produce a few giants. Q. Q giants, uh, two turns for the giants, fuck you America, I'm gonna have three giants then, that's a lot of money by the way, but we are getting a huge chunk of money, look at this, plus 225, <laughs> if I lose this, I'm an idiot, I probably will lose this, by the way, just saying, <laughs> just saying, <laughs> I mean the enemy has dragons, they can fly, but to be honest, considering that they are uh, inside that specific army, I have a feeling that they won't care. And as you can see, the enemy is now on the move on a Pony Rider. And the thing is, the Pony Riders are gonna die. They're gonna capture everything so Pony Riders can run away. Can you run away? You cannot. That's fine. The thing is, what I'm gonna do with Pony Riders then is just run away. That is what I'm gonna do. Run away. Attack you, because you are annoying. But you have to see the actual manual combat, but I'm spilling the manual combat. How the hell does the enemy do better damage than us? We are in unlucky in terms of hits, that's for sure. They're all of a sudden, it's all good, but we, who will die? And of course, it is us who lose the battle. That's fine. Not really. This is bullshit. Uh, but that's fine. I mean, honestly, how, how does that work? How does it, It's the same freaking ship. It's the same ship, I tell ya. And yet we lose. And yet we lose. Okay, I'm gonna, for in case, I'm gonna queue a few archers again just to defend. And then again, uh, queue a few of these woven axemen, because I honestly they're axemen, like axemen at the movies and the comics. Just saying. So there you go. Let's see what we can do here. Ooh, the dryads would like a few of those, because honestly, dryads, nymphs, nymphs, sounds totally different than nymphs. They like love. Love likes them. Amazing stuff, I tell you. Uh, and that's it, right? Yes, it is. And this thing, I don't think will be healing it itself very. Fast, there, that's the word. So we don't have to care. Oh boy, what to do here? <laughs> what to do here? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna be attacking, let's go. Attack. Attack, you son of a bitch. Thank you. Okay, so us against the dragon level, two level four units. Well, one level four and one level three unit. This is gonna be fun. This is the first time we're fighting a dragon. Do we have enough archers? Yes. Good. Let's see how this is gonna go for us. Combine effort in this one. Combine effort. That's that's the gist of this of, of this one. Combine effort. We have to be close to each other to be able to back each other up. When the dragons come, it's gonna be well one dragon comes around, it's gonna be a total destruction. Do you remember the warlord alone was difficult to kill? Just imagine a dragon. A dragon will be like Ugh. I kill you. Uh, to be honest, no, no. Let's put position our swordsmen up close and personal. And dragons will be coming for us because she can climb walls, and then they are irritated by that fact that she can climb walls. And this beautiful line of defense is gonna be perfect. Yes, the dragon is coming. Our first ever dragon. 
I mean, beetles are A-OK, -okay, we know those, but the dragon is coming. It's just fucking amazing. Okay, go. This is freaking fun. Finally, we're annihilating the enemy like Hell's Mother Humping Bells after so many videos just reaching to this point here. I mean, we are still having one entire fucking enemy to destroy. There are a lot of more obstacles on the way, but honestly, we can do it. I believe we can do it. Uh, is everybody uh, did everybody move? Yes, they did. Let's end again and see how this is gonna go. They are not moving. Wow, you're not moving? Douchebags. But fine. Uh, because he's a flying unit, I believe I won't have a problem shooting him in the face uh, with my archers. Just saying. I don't think I'll have a problem with shooting him in the face. Let's l risk one of the swordmen. Okay, we're gonna get close slowly, but surely. Don't call me Shirley. We will call you Shirley, dragon. We will call you Shirley always. I'm gonna keep that beautiful, beautiful halfling cleric. I don't think is that the new guy or the old guy. I do not remember. I don't think that's the new guy. I mean, he is the new guy, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Yep, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, they're coming. Oh, they're coming. And they didn't do anything. Okay, first kill the dragon. Everything else is such a secondary thing. No! F fuck you. Fuck you, game. Fuck you in the ass. Fuck you in the ass. Fuck you in the ass. Double fuck in the ass. Like, honestly. Great stuff. Can't do anything against him, but you can't do something against him. Oh, loving the moments, man. The moments. It's all about the moments. Uh, ice shards, maybe, if we get perfect against the red dragon, I guess. But chain lightning is the greatest thing ever known, man. Did nothing. Nothing. The moments. It's all about the moments, guys. It's all about the moments. Really? Come on, elves, at least you can try and kill these bastards. Ooh, ooh, a new sound effect of people dying. Okay, it was in the elven bastard, is the only one that can do something. Yeah, he is the only one that can do something, those are the elves. The evil, evil elves. Well, he's going for the queen, so if she dies, it's a GG anyway. Maybe not. The the flame thing did not work so well. That's great. Good job, my centaur. A good job. Like, I can build more if I had a level 4 city. That is level 2 city. I could build more centaurs. Because honestly, they're fantastic. They're fast and furious. They can shoot at people. Specifically dragon. So his fire breath didn't work. I don't know. Let's see. Fire mini fire breath. Okay. So it was... See, he has a strike, man, but he's utilizing fire breath thing that he can do something with it. And considering that we have wasted our magic, and of course our queen is the best at this, she is the bestest friend we can ever have. Good job, guys. Really, elves? You guys suck at anything! Well, in, at everything! Suck! And we lost three units by now. Great stuff. Just great freaking stuff. Uh, let's first see if our queen can immediately kill off the dragon. No, but maybe Centaur will be able to help out in this one. Yes, the, the damnable thing is dead. And of course we'll hit our... Already dead elf. But that's fine, the magic bolts will deal with you. Hey, some damage, unbelievable. Good stuff, good stuff. Just continue co killing this bastard, even though we did lose a few units. I'm completely fine with this. Not really, I'm not fine at all. But still, it will be it will be a victory for us. Considering that this thing just won't be able to kill anything anymore. Well, he will probably kill already one target. That's gonna be a... Oh, 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 you're going for him, really? Of all the targets, you're going... Instead for the going for the halfling cleric, maybe, to heal. You know, who is healing people... You're actually going... Okay, that doesn't matter. You're going for the craziest person. He doesn't like dwarves! That's the gist of it. And, and our queen has the best moments with archery. That's for freaking sure. Like, the best moments with the archery. It's ridiculous. Uh, okay, let me see. 
stable. It's stable. Of course, they're producing merchandise and stuff like that. We could build a dragon. Oh my god, I could build a dragon. I don't. I didn't. I see, oh, I can build a oh, orc warlords. Orc warlords. Gods. Yes. Touch me now. I'm touching myself, guys. I'm actually touching myself. We're we're, we're actually amazing. Okay, so the thing is, this is the question, it's a good question, manager. These are all evil creatures and they would have a lower morale if they're fighting alongside us. I presume, if we have evil creatures. We only have ever had one orc archer and he was kinda useful. Uh, but honestly, considering they're all evil, I'm just gonna immediately queue this on migration, that is. And that's it, with perfect, I want to go with elves anyway, so migration, they're excellent. Another thing is, this could uh, go very badly for us. So what I'm gonna do is move these three units towards the main capital thingy. Oh, that's not the thing I wanted to happen. Oh my god. Oh boy. That's beautiful. Uh, that's fine. Enter. Protect the city until it's uh, back into the biznatch. And yeah, that's just gonna be amazing. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> okay, that's not... Did not go as I expected. Kind of afraid of this thing. It's undefended city. We do not know to do this best. We just move in and take everything from would be a bad mojo would definitely be a bad mojo moving on uh, surface caverns did I end the turn to know what the hell is happening yes I did so that means this thing is now under our control that is under dwarven control of Dorboff is dwarven thing 32 lots of mushrooms that's the reason we see a lot of mushrooms around that's the reason as to why we have have so many things let's go it's gonna be beautiful because now our main force that went underground is moving up. And this is an amazing experience. Excellent. And we keep them in this formation. They have to go together. And that's it. Yeah, they have to, to go together so we can attack the enemy from three sides, center and two sides. And that'd be amazing. Of course, the enemy is totally toasted here. No, they're done. There is nothing else to say. They are done. But I need reinforcement as fast as possible. Just for in case of just keeping these things under con our control. Is that it? Yes it is. I might sort through the mountain ranges here. To see if I can see something like valuable that I can take from the independent parties. Again we can see some high level monstrosity again. A beetle. A beetle and yeah, good stuff. The, uh, this beetle is this that is this party is not moving anywhere for some freaking reason. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm guessing they're just waiting for a good opportunity to attack us. Uh, that is these individual units, and that of course is not a good thing. It is not a good thing at all. Okay, a lot of melee units, which is perfect. A lot of archer units, which is of course perfect as always. We have dwarves coming in, beautiful stuff. It's gonna be a nice combined effort against the enemy. Uh, is that it? Yes, pretty much it is. Okay, as you can see, three dwarven archers here, two elven archers here, and two halfling slingers like a beast they are. Uh, yeah, that's about it, I think. I don't have to anything do anything anymore. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, yeah, moved everything. Now we are waiting for Karkach to give us elves, and then we can see the elven level 4 unit. That's gonna be epic. Also, we might know we're built producing giants. Yeah, producing 3 giants. That's gonna be interesting to see in combat. They are level 3 creatures of darkness and despair, I think. For the dwarves, of course. And I am, of course, as always, avoiding to end the turn because I'm a little bitch. Just saying. What everybody's thinking. Yeah, they're going for these bastards. I can dance these moves, man. I can dance these moves like a beast. Okay, let's see how this is gonna go for us. Ah, why did we have to go to war with the Frostlings? I honestly did not want this to happen. Ever. It didn't ha need to happen. We could have been friends. We could have done things. Experience. Unbelievable passion, but no, the goddamn Frostling just had to say, Hey, hey, demon, we are your favorite race. Not anymore, but I presume. Heh, <laughs> anywho, 
Let's see this stream, what's gonna happen. Okay, and a lot of stuff moving in. A lot of freaking Nordic glows. Now, for individual units, they're probably just that evil and hard to kill anyway. But, uh, when you have this mess, I'm kind of afraid. I'm kind of afraid, honestly. Go. Uh, so, let's see. Yep, they're not, on, they're not going anywhere. This is beautiful. This is very, very cool. Uh, that is the Beatles, this massive army, which means I can just join in on the party. Sexy like a beast indeed. Sexy like a beast. Well, let's keep information. Go over the mountain ranges to avoid the suspiciousness of this party. We don't want anything bad to happen, of course. But uh, to be honest, this party might move in and start capturing the cities. They're pretty much undefended caverns. Let's see. It would seem that the AI knows that we're moving through the cavern system. And, of course, that's something they don't like. And because they don't like that, they're saying no to drugs. And I say yes. Uh, okay. Excellent. You will re be able to rejoin, but won't be able to move. Really, one more. Okay, move. Like this, and like this. Perfect. Perfect, indeed. I'm gonna probably... No, no. We keep, we keep the battering gram at the moment in the party. We keep it in the party. It's gonna be very slow, but... You know, we'll do what the AI is doing. We're gonna be doing what the AI is doing. Like a bot. We're gonna be just doing the same thing that the AI tends to do. Group up particular amount, you know, huge amount of parties and a, gen a gangbang on the, the enemy doorstep, and that's it. Migrant into elves, two turns. Excellent. Let's see what our eagle can actually do. Oh boy, hello, Charlie. Oh, a lot of enemy, nothing, really, nothing, nothing, really, nothing important. A level 3 city of Gazdaf. Really, who is designing these names? Uh, we'll be taking the tower for it, because it'll be perfect, because uh, it's going to overlook a lot of part of these, uh, la these lands. Uh, again, we have that amazing structure, probably has amazingly ultra mega Armageddon sword. Or something like cash. And that's it! That's it! Let's just continue moving the rest of the forces. Now, these are the moments where you can actually cut out a few things, but that's pure bullshit, considering this game is just that amazing, and all women love it. Because that's just bullcrap. Can you guys move together? No, stay where you are, then. Elf Archer, perfect. As soon as we get the elves... We capture this, Greased. We're gonna be capturing and capturing one after another, so we have a smaller amount of things to capture when we go with our units uh, from uh, the caverns. Now this part here could be very dangerous, is who knows exactly what the enemy has in those particular wandering parties. They could be the best fucking units they ever had even. We do not know. The good thing is, independents cannot hold forts, mines, and stuff like that. They can hold cities, of course. We have seen this. <laughs> really, yes. But they cannot hold mines and stuff like that. Which is fine and dandy, of course. Uh, is that it? Am I building everything needed? Yes, we are building everything needed. Beautiful. Armies, and we have the upkeep. Which is sexy. Indeed. We are getting giants, sexy, of course. Uh, Trifas, why well, believe at least, you know, to start upgrading one of these cities. Specifically, I want Lyra to be upgraded finally, but I'm gonna wait for all the giants and then upgrade Lyra to level 4. So I have Dwarven level 4 unit and the Elf level 4 unit to see how they actually look. That's gonna be freaking amazing, to be honest. Uh, but the, uh, we, not, cannot, bleh, 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 we cannot forget the enemy is actually moving with a massive force towards us now. And I'm actually gonna build a few boats. QU, like a beast. They cost a lot, to be honest. Do they really cost a lot, is the question? Let's see. How much a dragon costs? A 66. It's fine. But a lot of turns just to make a dragon ship, though. Four freaking turns. Specifically, how many plates just freaking over too long? Uh, I'm gonna end here, guys. I'm gonna end it here, because honestly, just nothing is happening, really. We had a little battle here with the dragon, that was about it. But, yeah, really. 
good stuff is happening, we are actually winning, finally, you know, if you have been watching all these damnable videos, you remember how much trouble we had since the goddamn beginning, but how we actually passed and utilized the terrain, and utilized a uh, load save feature, <laughs> amazing stuff, I wish you the very best as always.